hey my youtube friends and family welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be making some jamaican style salt mackerel rondong so if you are new to my channel please go ahead and join the family by hitting that red subscribe button and to my returning subscribers welcome back big up on yourself thank you all for coming back each week to watch my videos today i want to give a shout out to roxana knight thank you for always watching and commenting and also cafe chin and also i want to give a big big shout out to marie's kind of life she's also a youtuber you can go over and check out her channel as well i will leave her link in my description box thank you marie for always being one of the first person to watch my videos i appreciate you all right so now that i'm done with the intro let's get into the video so to start off this is the salt marker that i'm going to be using i have this other one that i ended up adding later on that but i ended up boiling it separately because i just wanted to use one parcel but after i boil it i realized it wasn't going to be enough all right so i'm just going to rinse it thoroughly just to remove as much salt as i can and then i'm going to rinse it again with some uh, citrus you can use lime or lemon whichever and then i'm going to add it to my boiling water So now that my mackerel is clean, I'm going to add it to my pot of hot water and I'm going to allow this to boil for about 5 minutes because I'm going to be boiling it in the coconut milk so you don't necessarily need to boil it for a very long time otherwise it's going to get really soft. Alright so um, to get rid of this one was very salty so I give it a second boil. So now these are the veggies that I'm going to be using. I am just gonna they're already rinsed and I'm gonna chop them up and set them aside until I'm ready to use them and I'm also gonna add some pimento seed as well and you know you have to add a scotchy in there because that's gonna help to take away that fish scent and to add some flavor to your pot all right so we're just gonna set those veggies aside and now my salt mackerel is boiled I'm just gonna remove as much skin as I can you don't necessarily have to remove the skin some people like to keep it on but I'm gonna remove as much as I can and then I'm gonna remove the bones as much bone as I can because no matter how long you spend trying to get the bones out there's always bone left in it all right so just take out as much bone as you possibly can So after removing the bones and the head, as you can see, this is all I have left from the salt mackerel. So that is why I ended up doing some more separately. So the next step is boiling your coconut milk and you want to boil it for about 10 to 15 minutes just um, until it starts to form a custard and the oil starts to form. Then you're going to add your veggies and allow that to cook down a little before adding your fish. So there's another way that you can do it. You can saute your veggies separately in some oil, but whenever I do it like that, it gets too greasy. So I'm just gonna cook down this coconut milk because when you cook it all the way down, it produces its own oil. So you don't necessarily need to add any extra oil to your pot. So now we're just gonna allow our veggies to cook down in the coconut milk. It's gonna add a nice flavor. And before you add your fish, you want to add a piece of thyme in there. And this is going to be your main herb. All right, this is going to add a lot of flavor in your coconut milk. So now we're just going to give this a couple minutes so that everything can get to infused properly. And then we're going to add our salt mackerel. So if you want to add tomato, you can go ahead and add that. I personally don't like tomato cooked down in coconut milk. If I'm cooking my salt mackerel differently, then I would add a lot of tomatoes. But when I'm making the rundown, I don't add any to mine. But it's totally up to you. So now I'm just going to go in with my salt mackerel. And I'm also going to add my remaining coconut milk. And I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. 
and remember when you're adding seasoning to anything at all it all depending on the amount i may add a half teaspoon of black pepper but if you're making less then you won't need that much and if you're making more then you know adjust it and add more all right as well as you can just crush some of your pimento seed and add it in there instead of the black pepper so i remember in 1999 my then baby father who is now my husband brought me my first plate of salt mackerel rondong i don't know if he remembers but we were both working at sandals and he brought me my first plate i was sitting in the lunchroom and i was like man this tastes really really good and yeah i fell in love with salt mackerel rondong ever since he preferred it the other way we were cooking up with the tomato and stuff but this is like my favorite way of having salt mackerel so it's been five minutes now since it's been cooking since the fish has been cooking down i'm just gonna taste it to see if everything is good and after tasting it i realized i could take just a little bit of seasoning so i just add a little bit of fish seasoning just to add a little bit more flavor to the pot and i'm also gonna pump up my stove to high heat and I cover this down for another two minutes until it's nice and custardy on the top and then I'm gonna turn it off so yes my friends the pot has landed it's time to eat I prepared some flour dumplings some cornmeal dumplings some um, roasted sweet potatoes some white yam but this pairs very well with green bananas if you have I didn't have any so yeah it's time to eat thank you all so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and yeah stay tuned for more amazing videos right here on how we will cooks